the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, September 22nd. I'm James Spann. A fairly quiet pattern for the rest of the week. Temperatures about where they should be for this time of the year. Let's talk about it. Check it out. That's the uh, water vapor satellite view. Trough axis near the Alabama-Georgia border. Near that, got a few showers uh, on radar. That was the radar this afternoon at 2.08. You can see scattered showers from near Anniston down to Selma. Moving southwest, but the northern and western part of the state totally rain-free. Mostly low 80s on the board. We've got 80 for Birmingham. We'll expect low to mid 80s tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Convective outlook, just a uh, marginal risk well up north. Maybe some thunder for southeast Alabama this evening, but no severe weather expected. And tomorrow... Pretty quiet day around the nation. This is the rain for the next five days. Ballot through Sunday morning. If this is right, rain amounts under one quarter of an inch for most of the state. The big numbers with a coastal low off the coast of the Carolinas and the Atlantic. In fact, here's a look at uh, what's happening out in the tropics. We've got tropical storm Ida in the central Atlantic in that uh, uh, gale center that is uh, off to the east of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Unlikely this becomes a, a pure tropical system, but uh, this thing will more than likely drift to the southwest toward the uh, Carolina coast in coming days, very slowly producing breezy and wet, unsettled conditions there. Got some uh, modeling on that. That's Invest 97 now. And you can see most of the models drift this thing back over toward Charleston. Uh, in about two or three days. And again, uh, that continues drifting west, and we'll wait and see if that affects our weekend. And we'll take a look at uh, specifics on that in just a minute. Uh, deeper out in the tropics, that's the uh, data on Ida from the Hurricane Center. It kind of meanders about far from land as a tropical storm for the next five days. The ensembles, most of the members just keep it out in the middle of nowhere. So let's take a look at modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. We've got an upper low that's uh, kind of on the Florida Panhandle coast, the polar jet well to the north, and down below that we have a surface low, that low that's off the coast of the Carolinas. But for us, I think the day should be mostly dry with mid-80s. Here's the high-res NAM at 4 o'clock, and it's pretty dry. So partly sunny, the chance of a shower, very, very small. In fact, we probably leave it out. Thursday, we might mention the risk of a shower in a few spots, but obviously a shower should be pretty widely spaced. Mid-80s are likely. And then Friday, moisture begins to creep in here from the east, and we'll just have to see how that thing behaves. I think no doubt we have to mention scattered rain showers on Friday with a high around 80. Now, this for the weekend, uh, you can see the polar jet again way up north. Winds aloft are light. Down below that, uh, the moisture should be sufficient for scattered rain showers. And as we've talked about for a few days, Saturday doesn't look like a completely rainy day, but a couple of passing showers, a distinct possibility, with a high around 80. In fact, the GFS is now printing 79, and pretty much the same thing on Sunday. That obviously doesn't look very wet, but with that fetch coming in off the Atlantic, don't be shocked if we see a few showers with a, a mix of sun and clouds. Here's Monday of next week. That looks fairly dry with low 80s, and this is a week from today, Tuesday, September 29th. Now troughing over south Texas, and uh, that's going to pull this developing low in the Gulf of Mexico northward. Uh, this run shows a uh, 1,006 millibar low south of Morgan City, Louisiana. And uh, needless to say, that kind of gets our attention here, these little backyard systems. And the GFS is not the only global model that does this. The European, this is valid uh, same day or Wednesday of next week, middle of next week. Surface low in the middle of the Gulf. Interestingly enough, a few days later, this is October 2nd, the end of next week, the, Europe, <laughs> the European pulls that thing back to the south down toward uh, the Bay of Campeche without affecting our Gulf Coast up here. But on the other hand, the Canadian brings it up toward the mouth of the Mississippi River by the middle of next week. So uh, as you would expect, we've got model madness, but the evidence is fairly high. There could be a tropical type system forming in the Gulf late this weekend or early next week. Where it goes, intensity, all that, we just don't know yet. It'll be wild speculation, but nobody knows. But something we have to watch. Here's the end of the forecast, October 2nd. 
coming off the GFS, troughing developing over the east. And again, the GFS kind of does like the uh, European. It wants to pull that Gulf low back down toward the Bay of Campeche, and that looks fairly dry for us. Temperatures for the next 15 days. Highs mostly low to mid-80s, lows mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s, but a nice downward trend as we get into October. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.